Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Faith and today I'm gonna to be guiding you through a 30 minute vinyasa yoga flow for self-confidence. So the intention of today's practice is to just give ourselves the opportunity to experience our full potential. So we're gonna move the body, we're gonna get the heart rate up and we're gonna explore movements that make us feel strong and confident, not just on the mat, but also off the mat in our daily lives as well. So when you're ready, go ahead, grab your mat, feel free to have a couple of blocks nearby in case you need them, and we'll begin. All right, my friends, we'll go ahead and get started in a seated position at the back of the mat. So bring your knees and your feet together, rest your hips on top of the heels, and just take a moment to sit up nice and tall, softening the shoulders down. And if this is at all uncomfortable for you, feel free to take an easy pose, Sukhasana, so a comfortable cross-legged position, whatever works best for you. And once you've settled into your seat, go ahead and close down the eyes. taking this opportunity to check in with yourself, checking in with your body, with your mind. And right away, beginning to deepen the breath here. So taking deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Settling into the space and setting an intention for your practice today. Setting the intention to find that inner strength, to move your body in ways that make you feel strong and comfortable. And always knowing that it's okay if you need to take a rest, skip a pose, or take any modifications. You are perfect. You are enough, exactly as you are today. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Gently blink your eyes open. On an inhale, take a big reach with both of the arms, bringing them up and overhead. And then exhale, bend the elbows into cactus. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you push the chest forward. So finding a slight back bend here, really opening up through the shoulders and the chest. Good, working with the breath now. Inhale, we'll reach the arms back up. Exhale, bend the elbows and open the chest. And again, inhale, reach it up, find a tall spine. And exhale, bend and squeeze. One more time, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Beautiful, inhale, we'll reach the arms back up. Exhale, take a twist to your left. Right hand comes to your left knee, left fingertips come behind you. Find a nice tall spine, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Take a deep breath in to find more length in the spine. And then exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to your right, left hand to right knee, right fingertips behind you. Relax the shoulders away from the ears, sit up nice and tall, deep breath in. And exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up. 
And then exhale, come on to all fours, finding our tabletop. So shoulders in line with the wrists, <clears throat> hips stacked above the knees. Draw the low belly in towards your spine to engage your core. And then we'll move through a few rounds of cat-cow. So as you inhale, drop the belly towards the floor, open the chest and lift the gaze. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone under, round through the spine, draw the chin to your chest. Working with the breath. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine. Beautiful, inhale, open up the body. And exhale, round. So taking a few more rounds at your own pace. Warming up the spine. Moving with the breath. And feel free to add any other movement that feels good for you here. So you can shift the hips forward and back. Maybe you wanna find some circles with the body, really waking up the spine. Just whatever feels good for you here. We'll take two more rounds. Come back to a neutral spine and we'll sit right back into child's pose. We'll hold here for one deep breath in. And then as you exhale, slowly transition your weight forward, coming through into upward facing dog. So extend through the knees, lift the thighs off of the mat. Press down through the palms, drop the shoulders away from the ears as you peel the chest open. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, turn to look over your left shoulder and then dip the right hip down. So coming into a side body stretch. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, switch. Turn to look over your right shoulder, left hip will come down. Inhale, come through into upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press into the hands, lift the hips, and release the feet. Take a moment to walk on the spot here, bending one knee at a time. Starting to awaken the legs, the hamstrings, the calves. And again, adding any movement that feels good. So shifting the hips from side to side, adding some movement into the shoulders. Stay with the breath, moving mindfully and confidently in your body. Beautiful, come back to a neutral downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees and just allow them to hover above the mat. So maybe about one or two inches. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, push back to downward facing dog. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, lift the heels, bend and hover the knees. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Two more times, inhale, lift the heels, bend and hover the knees. Exhale, push it back. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. And then as you exhale, just start to walk your feet towards the very top of the mat, taking about four to six steps. Bring your feet hip width distance apart. Take a generous bend in your knees and just find a rag doll. So grabbing onto opposite elbows and allowing your entire upper body to hang heavy here. So you can sway the body from side to side. You can shake and nod the head a little bit. Just letting go of any residual tension in the shoulders and the neck. Feeling this gentle decompression of the spine. Deep 
deep breath in and exhale out. Go ahead, release the hands, heel toe the feet together. On an inhale, halfway lift. Extend the legs, place your hands to your shins, find a flat back. And exhale, release all the way down, forward fold. You can keep the knees bent here if you need to. Slowly from here, begin to roll yourself up to standing. And once you make it there, inhale, we'll reach the arms up, palms touch. And exhale, hands to heart. Now from here, we're gonna move through a couple rounds of Suya Namaskar C, Sun Salutation C, just to get the heart rate up, get the body moving. So when you're ready, inhale, take a big reach, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hinge forward at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find a flat back. Exhale, bend your knees, step the right foot back, drop the back knee. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale into first chaturanga. Option to drop down onto the knees if you need to. Inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep moving. Inhale, we'll step the right foot forward, drop the back knee. Exhale, step the left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll do that again. Inhale, reach the arms up, open up the chest. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, now this time step your left foot back, drop the back knee. Inhale into plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, drop the back knee. Exhale, step the right foot forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Beautiful, we're going to keep moving here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back, drop the back knee. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, drop the back knee. And then as you exhale, lift the back knee, find a standing split. Shift your weight into your right leg, lift the left leg up. Keep the fingertips down on the ground. If you need a couple of blocks to help support you, feel free to get those ready. Keep the hips square, feeling a beautiful stretch in the back of the right leg. Feel free to stay here or come into warrior three. See if you can lift the hands up bringing the hands to heart center. Or maybe you wanna bring the arms alongside your body. Find your center, find your focus, engage your core to keep you balanced. And know that if you fall out, it's totally fine. Just come back to me when you're ready. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands back down. Bend the right knee, we'll step the left foot back. Inhale, high lunge, reach the arms up. Exhale, warrior two, open up the hips, bend into the right knee, back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Inhale, reverse your warrior, reach the right arm back. Exhale, extended side angle. Place the right forearm on top of the right thigh, left arm reaches up and over. Working with the breath, inhale, reverse your warrior, reach it back. Exhale, extended side angle. Beautiful, inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle, one more time. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle.
Inhale, come back to your reverse warrior. Hold it here. Keep a deep bend in that right knee, feeling a beautiful stretch in the right side body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Lift your back heel off of the mat, and then we'll step the left foot forward, coming into forward fold. Inhale, we'll halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. From here, we'll move into a tree pose. So shift your weight into your right foot. Pull the left knee up towards the chest. Take a moment to find your balance. And you have a couple of options here. So you can place the ball of your foot down on the ground. You can place the sole of your foot to the inside of your shin. Or if you'd like, you can bring the sole of your foot all the way up into your right inner thigh. Bring the hands back to heart center. And think about drawing that left knee back. So really opening up through the left hip. And you can stay here and just play around with it a little bit, or you can start to reach the hands up and overhead, pressing the palms together, finding length in the spine, core engaged. If you wanna take it another step further, you can add a different variation. So you can place the left hand on top of the left thigh and then add in a little side body stretch. So reaching the right arm up and over, really rooting down through that right foot. Again, if you lose your balance, not a problem. Just come back when you feel ready or skip the pose entirely, whatever feels good for you. You are doing great. You are amazing just the way that you are. Beautiful, take one more breath here. And if you're in this side bend variation, lift yourself back up. We'll all take a breath in. And then exhale, bring your hands back over towards your heart. Release the left foot back down. All right, continuing to flow here. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, this time step your left foot back, drop the left knee down. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, drop the back knee. Exhale, lift the back knee, standing split. Shift your weight into your left foot, right leg lifts. Again, you can keep the fingertips down. You can place your hands on a couple of blocks. Or if you're up for the challenge, we can add in our warrior three. Lifting the hands, bringing the hands to heart center, or reaching the arms all the way back, arms come alongside the body. So we're creating this T-like shape with the body. Hips are square, core is engaged. Really finding that support through the left leg. Deep breath in. And then exhale, release the hands back down, bend your right knee or left knee, step the right foot back. Inhale, high lunge, we'll sweep the arms up. Exhale, open the hips, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm reaches back. Exhale, extended side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm reaches up. Working with the breath. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reach it back, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. One more time. Inhale, reach it back, big stretch. Exhale, extended side angle. Beautiful, inhale, reverse warrior, reach the arm back. Hold it here, rolling that left shoulder open. Keep bending into the left knee. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, lift your back heel, and we'll step the right foot to meet the left. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, come on up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, root to rise, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Finding our tree pose, this time shifting your weight into your left foot, right knee comes into the chest. Take a moment to find your foundation and play around with it. So you can release the ball of the foot down. You can place the sole of the foot to the inside of your calf or your shin, or you can pull it all the way up to your inner thigh. The most important thing is that you're not placing it right beside the knee. I don't want you to injure your knee here. So one of those three variations, keep your hands at your heart center, open the right hip out, so drawing that right knee back. And then see if you can reach your hands up and overhead. Keep pressing the palms together, engaging through your core, staying strong through that supporting leg. And then if you want to take a different variation, go ahead, place the right hand on top of the right thigh, reach the left arm up and over. So really testing our balance here. And it's okay if you fall out, just come right back to me when you feel ready. Beautiful, inhale, we'll reach the arms back up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart, release the right foot. Inhale, we'll reach the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, this time step both feet right back into plank, take your chaturanga. Inhale, into upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, well done. We'll just hold here for a few deep breaths. Giving our heart rate an opportunity to slow down. And becoming aware of any changes in your body. So maybe you feel a little more open in the backs of the legs. More open in the shoulders and the chest. And just take this time to notice to be grateful for your body and all the ways that it supports you. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Beautiful, well, inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, and we'll lower all the way down. Untuck the toes and we'll sit back into child's pose. Again, just taking this opportunity to rest, to reset. We did a lot of work today, we moved the body, so just take this opportunity to reset, recover. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale out. From here, go ahead, lift yourself back up. Come all the way up onto your knees, bringing your knees hip width distance apart. Preparing for camel pose. So go ahead, place your hands just onto your low back, onto your sacrum. Take a deep breath in to find length in the spine. And then as you exhale, start to push the hips forward, engage through your glutes, and then open up through the heart. So drawing the shoulders back, squeeze the glutes to protect your lower back. You can keep your chin tucked into your chest, or if you'd like, you can start to throw your head back. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can try to reach your hands all the way down for your heels. So you'll really feel this more through the shoulders, through the chest. And again, if this is too much for your lower back, then just stay in that first variation. So if you're feeling a little bit of restriction or just really tight in that area, definitely keep the hands there to protect it. And just find your breath here, opening yourself up 
to the universe, to the future, and to all the blessings of your day. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale, we'll release. First, tuck the chin back into your chest. Place your hands onto your lower back if you're not already there. And then we'll slowly guide ourselves all the way up. Go ahead, press the hips back towards your heels and we'll just take another child's pose, bringing the forehead all the way down. You can reach the arms forward or you can bring the arms alongside your body with the palms face up. So a wonderful counter pose for our camel. Feeling a gentle release through the spine, through the low back. Just taking a few deep breaths here. Stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system. Slowing down the body. Take one more breath here. And then gently reach your arms back towards the top of the mat if you're not already there. Come on to all fours, cross the ankles, and we'll just transition ourselves into our final posture, our Shavasana. So extending the legs out to the corners of the mat. Reach the arms forward and slowly with control, we're gonna lower all the way down. Using your core. And then go ahead and relax the arms alongside your body, palms face up. Allow your feet to fall open and close your eyes. Taking this opportunity to settle into stillness. Allowing the body to soften and relax. Surrendering your body to the mat, to the floor underneath the mat, and to the ground underneath the floor. Returning your breath to a slow and natural rhythm. And with each exhalation, allowing your body to relax further and further in to the surface beneath you. Taking this opportunity to express gratitude for your body, for all the things that it does for you. Expressing gratitude for yourself, for taking this time to do something just for you. Relaxing here with your body and with your breath.
Feel free to stay here in your Shavasana for as long as you'd like. If you're ready to come out, let's take one last final deep breath in. Open the mouth, exhale the breath out. Reach the arms up and overhead. Give yourself one last big full body stretch. And then roll over to one side. Press yourself up to a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed. Place your hands over to your knees. And just take one last opportunity to feel into your physical body, to feel into the changes that have occurred, and to feel into this peaceful yet powerful energy you cultivated today. And when you're ready, bring the palms together in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Taking this opportunity to bow down to yourself. Thanking yourself for your wonderful practice today and for doing something good for yourself, for your mind, and for your entire well-being. Thank you all so much for joining me today. May you stay well and always continue to shine. Thank you.